Okay, guys, so it's just something with the Taylor girls and getting involved with other girls in the industry, and it's just not working out. Now, Daisha and Ty are in yet another beef. Now, I'm going to say this. It seems like Ty is the one in the beef, and then Daisha kind of has to jump in because that's her sister, and she has to defend her. Well, she doesn't have to defend her, but it's only right that she does so. Now, Ty goes out, and she befriends all these girls in the industry, and then for whatever reason, it just doesn't work out. So, as I reported the other day, Asian Doll has some things to say about Ty. So, Ty went on to Twitter to respond to the allegations that Asian made. So, she says, Lord, remove anyone who smiles in my face, then gossips about me and plots against me. Now, Daisha also has some things to say on Instagram. So, she says, God told us yesterday he was removing anyone who isn't here for us better now than later now then ty and asian doll decided to unfollow each other on instagram so now this is where it really gets messy because now asian doll goes onto twitter and she starts going off so she says i saw you i mugged you you smiled at me you even posted me on your page you posted me on your page i thought this issue was genuine but the whole time you was using me for an image bro i was so effing genuine to you so effing cool whole time b word don't like me shaking my head don't ever act like i can't keep a friend but you right i can't keep an instagram friend i'm too real i'm too raw to even let these h words around me i'm thinking she on some young rich b word ish whole time h word really just want to be around me to get that rapper look now this is where kayla comes into the equation someone says they switched up just as quick as you go from laughing with somebody to talking about them i guess y'all have a lot in common clown now asian then responds with i found out the real tea like the real tea kayla nicole told be the real story i'll embarrass a mf if i told my side but i don't care just know i was getting used and played then she also says bundles wasn't released because b words was hating B word told them take me off. Meanwhile, I didn't give two Fs about it. H word literally was the reason behind it. Kayla got into it with her because Kayla checked her about not liking me, but being in my face and calling Axon to go outside with me. Now, if you guys didn't know, Asian Doll was on another version of Bundles. So it was the Taylor Girls, Kayla, Flo Millie, and then Asian was added. Now, I heard clips of the song with Asian, but apparently, Asian is saying that Kayla told her the reason that she wasn't on the song is because the Taylor girls told her not to put Asian on the song. So someone says, it's over with Asian. Let it go and move on. So Asian responds with, I wasn't going to do it until B words get on here acting like somebody did her wrong. But in reality, she talked ish about me. Literally, she was in my face, like calling, texting, asking to hang out. So then she posts a text that she sent Ty that says, don't even play with me on the internet. Like for real, for real. You know, I found out the real, you know, what's up. Send on that ish stand on everything you said about me the whole time never thought you would be that type of b-word you talk ish about me then was in my face keep that same so energy. i want to know your opinions on everything that's going on here i'm not taking any sides on this situation because honestly it seems like a whole bunch of mess going on but my whole thing is i'm wondering why asian decided to go onto twitter to speak about a situation with ty to complete strangers because if she wouldn't have done that none of this would have been public and they just could have ended their friendship off of the internet but since she decided to go onto that twitter group and talk crap about ty to people that she didn't even know and those people put it out to the public now it's a big thing now i don't know if ty and deja are going to say anything after this i'm hoping they learn from the whole kayla nicole situation and just keep their mouth shut and i'm hoping at this point ty learns that she cannot have any female friends i think deja kind of already gets it if you know Notice, it's always Ty that brings these 
friends in and then they end up going at it and then Daisha gets involved. So maybe Ty just needs to stay away from having female friends and just stick to her sister and whoever else she hangs around with that's not in the industry because obviously it's not working. So now let's get on to this next topic with CJ So Cool. Now CJ So Cool is back in the news again. He's being partially bashed because he decided to drop a YouTube video that had some very personal information pertaining to his oldest daughter or world he's oldest daughter Jaleel. we got the thirstiest 14 year old in history right here hi Jalele. can you explain to us who Owaxin is Owaxin Oxamine uh -huh. you know the dude you told us about now your boyfriend so you're not talking all right we're getting out she's gonna beat us up so now if you guys didn't see this video, Jalea was talking to some guy on TikTok and CJ just completely embarrassed her. So a lot of people in the comments were like, you know, that's a personal family situation. You need to learn to keep things private. Someone else says she's 14 though. She's growing up. Y'all cannot keep humiliating her. She already gets bullied in school. Y'all damaging this girl for money. Now, there were a lot of other comments regarding this whole situation as well. You know, saying that the situation should have been kept private and CJ should not have posted this on his YouTube page. But just so you guys know, anything that happens in my life from now on, I'm going to let you guys know with a video. I don't care what the people want to comment say. You shouldn't let everything. I don't care. So what do you guys think about that whole situation? Do you guys feel like that CJ should have not posted that on YouTube? Do you feel like that that should have been left a personal situation between himself and his family letting royalty handle you know what goes on with his daughters i mean honestly it kind of is embarrassing can you imagine being 14 years old and having millions of people see that you went on tiktok and was talking to some guy and turns out to be a catfish and you're saying you're in love with him and you're posting all this on youtube for everyone to see let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below did you guys even see that video i also want to know what you guys think about the whole thai and asian situation because in the comments on instagram i was seeing a lot of people saying that the taylor girls are the problem and then they were like no at this point Ty is the problem. Now when the whole thing happened between Kayla and Ty, I were asking like, why were people so upset with the Taylor girls? Why did they feel like that they were the problem here? Now I'm kind of seeing that it's kind of like they're always in some stuff, but I'm not sure if it's actually them or if it's just the people that they're associating themselves with. So I want to know your opinions on it. Cause like I stated, I kind of don't really have a side here. I'm not going to pick a side. I kind of try to stay away from that. But who do you guys feel like is the problem? Do you feel like it's actually the Taylor girls? Or do you feel like they're just surrounding themselves with people that are causing mess and confusion in their lives? Let me know your opinions down in the comment section below.